Last week, the CEO of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, wrote an op-ed calling for governments worldwide to band together to regulate free speech. Brendan Carr is an FCC commissioner. He just wrote his own op-ed responding to Mark Zuckerberg, and he joins us tonight. Mr. Carr, thank you very much for coming on. Thanks. So the big tech companies would like free speech regulated by government. What could go wrong? It's pretty remarkable, actually. So if you think about it, Facebook has been under mounting scrutiny recently for a number of its practices, how it protects your online data, how it shares that data, and most directly now, how it moderates online speech. Lawmakers and the public have been asking a lot of serious questions about what they let you say on the platform and the posts that they let you see on the platform. In response to that pushback, Facebook has come up with a new idea that heads in a totally wrong direction. It wants the government to step in and start policing your online speech for it. And look, outsourcing government censorship, outsourcing censorship to the government isn't just a bad idea, it's a violation of the First Amendment. So I'm a no on that. So, and, and amen, and I'm glad that finally someone uh, at the FCC, I know there are others, but not enough, is taking that very sensible constitutional position. But what about the original deal with the Internet, where we give these companies an exemption, they're not news companies, they're platforms, Congress has said that, and their job is just to let people say what they want as long as it's not illegal, they're not selling drugs, right, or guns, or peddling kitty porn. <laughs> Why don't we go back to that? That's right. We want an approach that's going to promote a robust exchange of views. And what Facebook's talking about here is not targeting illegal content. What it described was harmful content. So this is content that's fully protected by the First Amendment. It's invited regimes, not just the government here in the U.S., but abroad to step in and start shutting down ideas that it doesn't like under the rubric of it being harmful speech. One example that Mark Zuckerberg gave was speech on immigration. He said that speech on a divisive political issue, and if you're online advocating uh, an issue position on immigration, the government should start regulating that speech. And look, Mark Zuckerberg has a very loud platform, a big platform to express his own views on immigration and hot button issues. So then to step in and call for everyday Americans when they are advocating for those issues online, for the government to step in and police that, I think that's a bad idea. Well, Mark Zuckerberg is one of the richest people in the world, and he has paid to lobby for open borders. So wait, not just speak, but influence our lawmakers, but you're not allowed to. Um, I just wonder, taking three steps back, how do we get here? Zuckerberg grew up in the United States. Most of these people did. This is a constitutional republic. Number one in the Bill of Rights is freedom of speech. They seem totally unaware of that. Why? Well, it's interesting. I've been a regular at the FCC for a number of years, and I can tell you, when large corporations come in and start calling for greater government control, they're not doing it as an act of charity. Uh -huh. Facebook right now is a company that's worth a half a trillion dollars. It's got a leading position in the market. It didn't find religion and regulation until it established that dominant position. Right. Exactly. exactly. They, yeah. have, they have 30,000 people right now that are doing content and security review. So calling for this heavy-handed government regulatory regime is going to erect an economic moat that only makes it harder for startups to compete That's in this exactly space. exactly right. This is the real protectionism right there. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. Good to see you. Well, do you think America is the